Now remember my fireflies, I'll light the way. And all you have to do is let me in. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. I want them to let me in. I'm gonna take my car, I'm gonna hop in, I'm gonna take a 300 mile drive all the way to Cali. I'm gonna knock at Mattel's door. Yo, who is it? It's me, Hero Figs. Let me in. <laughs> Look, I'm serious. I'm considering this. This, look, the turnaround time as of late, it's been pretty consistent. Mattel has been putting out stuff a lot sooner. Used to take about well over a year, but I mean, you go back, think of Ronda Rousey. She was put out within like months time, and that's usually never a thing. But if Mattel wants to capitalize on this only thing that is interesting on Raw, they need to put this into the figure line. Do it in epic moments, and what's going to go down in this video, just want to give you some ideas as to what the place that would include. I mean, we would get some parts, we get some characters, we would get, let me just get in depth. This would be kind of the carded image. I got a little bit creative. I know it looks kind of, <laughs> it looks cringy, but just work with me here, okay? Obviously the main figure, the main piece of it all would be Bray Wyatt. Now you would also get uh, Mercy the Buzzard. You know what, let's go through it all. This is gonna be the backdrop. So for, for the backdrop of the actual box, kind of like how they did with the Shield Epic Moments, have this this kind of like once you open up the box have this you know so you can do the pictures do whatever but also make the parts functional for example the table make that breakaway the chair all of that i mean even the door i know they've released a door in the past i think it came with the apa bat or it wasn't a battle pack but i think it was either farouk or branshaw and the other one came with the table but have the um the door actually you know make that functional and then the rest could be like the window. I know they've also, I think it was actually Jax that introduced broken, it wasn't broken glass, but it was a uh, plastic that was cut into four sections and you could do like a breakaway on that. And also the pieces. So interchangeable hands, let's do the uh, hands, like the open hands, like what we saw right here with RKO 1974, or you can do the hurt in the heel, right? You can do that, or you can have the enclosed, which would already be on the figure. So these would clearly go on once you add like the coat and the mask. No, I'm not saying to add rubber coat. Make it fabric, obviously. Make it kind of what we saw with like Undertaker. I think the Undertaker would suit him better. You could use Sting, but Sting had that weird flare coming out. But add the coat in there because you are going to be able to convert Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt would originally come with the red sweater and the nice khakis. But once you truly unleash your figure into its darkness form... Throw in the accessories to change that. The coat. Now, the scan would be one of two things. A, you could do an interchangeable head scan. You can just pop it off. We saw it with Nia Jax. We would see it with Bray Wyatt. Or, my personal preference, have the mask be like an added piece to where you can just put on over the figure. And now, I think Kane, Kane in the Mattel line, we've seen that for his current look, for his current attire. We've seen that with Kane. So, I think that's the route. That, that would be the safest route, I think. So, that way you could just like... It would just provide more playability to it all if you made it, you know, just a, as an additional piece as opposed to interchanging the scan. The Firefly Funhouse TV, this could be a really cool thing to where you can add even more. They can bring back some of the stuff that they've used in the entrance grades. You guys recall the entrance grades did have a little voice box. Do that with the TV. Push a button, as you can see right there on the TV itself, it's got multiple buttons. You push one button, it could play the actual entrance theme of the Firefly Funhouse. Push another button, it could play like the background noise when the kids pop up like, hey, you know, or like, boo. So have it have, have, it have multiple functions. And also some of the famous cat, catchphrases like, yowie, wowie, that's one catchphrase you would for sure have to have in that box. Characters, we would need all three. Mercy, Mercy the Buzzard, Ramblin' Rabbit, and Abby the Witch. Now, out of the three, I would have to say Abby the Witch would require to have, like, the full-on figure with actual articulation. It'd be, it'd be very small. It'd be pretty small. But I have seen it in the past. Not necessarily with Mattel, but I've seen Hasbro use or make small figures. I think uh, Spider Pig. The, that one you could do kind of like that style of articulation but just have her make sure to, to have her as the one to have all of the articulation ramblin rabbit he's a puppet he doesn't have to have a lot of articulation just at least a swivel point and by the head 
And Mercy the Buzzard, I mean, really the only thing for him that we've seen so far is the actual head itself. So the box, a simple, car or not a not a cardboard box, but an actual plastic box that looks like cardboard with a swiveling Mercy Buzzard head where you can at least open and close the mouth. So, you know, it's just some things, some ideas, because when it comes to some of these characters, I don't know if it's too early for Vince McMahon, but the Epic Moments playsets usually go about $50 to $60. So the more characters, the better, and I think the pig right here pig boy yes please <laughs> you want your true feeling of like you're getting a good deal with the play set add all these characters throw them all in we haven't seen much of the devil right here with the vince mcmahon or you know pig boy but i'm sure as the weeks progress we'll see we'll get to know him a little bit better and if mattel does put it out in figure form we're gonna want to see those characters released as well this last part that i want to bring up this could be in each sold separately most play sets do that you look at the back of a play set if you want the extra figures that are shown on that image it's telling you that you have to buy it separately and i'm talking about the kids here we normally hear them in the background but we've only seen them once maybe twice now for the kids this would be really awesome because if you recall we haven't really gotten any releases maybe in has I, I think hasbro has done it but they really don't you know come together with the mattel figures you could use it obviously for what right here the firefly funhouse or you could put them in the crowd how many times have you gone to a live event and you see that most of the population in the crowd is kids about 85 to 90 percent so multiple functions for this. And then for the back piece right here, this I found on Instagram. I don't know who did this art piece, but they normally do some kind of art for any of these epic moments. This art, I have never seen anybody execute quite the way. If anybody know who, who made this, you guys, leave it in the comment sections because they <laughs> they need credit. They utilize all of them, right? Obviously, we got Bray Wyatt right there. We got the clown. We got Abby. We got Mercy. We got everybody. So have that as a backdrop and then have like a little bio on that as to what the fire uh, Firefly Funhouse is all about. Maybe it can get more in depth. And maybe we can get some of the answers that we're still trying to figure out with this. Give me your thoughts. Drop a like. Let me know if this is something you would like to see. If Mattel was to ever release this, I know Ringside Collectibles has brought it up, and I just wanted to put this into video form. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.